Hey, can you guys hear me okay? Yep, you got us. Yep, I got you guys. We'll get started with questions and Matt, I'll have our first question. Josh, obviously, um, you know, the, the early reviews are this was one of the greatest playoff games ever played. Obviously, you guys didn't come out on the right side of it. Uh, what were the feelings in the locker room after everything you went through down the stretch? Obviously, uh, we're, we're disappointed. Um, wanted to win that game. Obviously, everybody wants to win that game. There's only going to be one one champion crowned at the end of the season. So that makes 31 unhappy teams. And, um, you know, hats off to the, to the Chiefs and what they did today, you know, Pat played amazing. Um, got a lot of respect for him and, and the Chiefs as a whole. Um, you know, they made they made one more play than we did. And that's uh, that's what it came down to. Um, but I'm proud of our guys. How we fought, how we battled, how we came uh, came through and persevered over some things throughout the the course of this game and the course of the season. Um, you know, and you know, it obviously it, it hurts. You know, you don't like feeling like this, especially back to back years at the same place. Um, uh, yeah, so. We got to find a way uh, to be better next year and and to accomplish what we want to accomplish. Uh, Gabriel, four touchdowns. Nobody's ever done that in the playoffs before. I mean, what was it about your guys' connection um, in this game and why it worked so well? I mean, we were just whoever had the opportunity to make a play, we were going to make it, and I had a lot of opportunities tonight and was able to uh, execute on those almost uh, those. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Josh. Uh, hey, Josh. I uh, wanted to ask you about those last couple of minutes, or I guess I should say about the last, you know, fourth quarter plus. Uh, the offense seemed to be able to do whatever it wanted, and that has to be an incredibly powerful feeling. Um, can you take us into that feel, whatever rhythm you guys were in or whatever you were seeing out there, uh, and take us maybe through that um, that, that whole sequence? Yeah, man, I think it started up front. Um, our front five did an outstanding job today against a, a really, really good defensive front. Um, and then you look at outside, our guys are making plays, unbelievable catches, getting bees involved. Um, Gabe making some some unbelievable catches there. Obviously, four touchdowns. You think he went eight for 200-something. With like, That's video game numbers, you know. So um, we had our opportunities. We made, we made some plays, um, but not enough to get the job done. Oh, that was it. I think I got muted because we have some background noise here, but no follow up from me. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Josh, obviously you were able to connect with Gabe throughout the night. Is there anything they were doing, though, to take away Stefan that you guys couldn't connect more tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think they had a good plan. Um, doubling him, you know, especially on these some of these third downs, rolling the safety over the top, playing too high. Um, and usually when, when you try to take away somebody and put two guys on, on on 14 it opens up things for the other guys and um again gabe had his opportunity tonight and he made some outstanding plays and uh, even cole making some some great plays getting everybody involved um yeah i mean that's that's what it came down to and yeah. and then gabe can you take us through the two touchdowns um after the two minute warning oh uh, yeah i mean we're just again i i talk about this all the time but you know, when your number is called, you have to make the play. And I knew that it was going to be a, a night like that tonight, especially knowing that we have guys like, you know, Stefan Diggs and Kobe that will be getting double more often than, than I would. So I was just prepared for any anything coming my way. And I was able to, again, you know, um, make most of the plays that were called. All right, there you go. Bill's deciding games by one possession. I mean, none of those other ones really matter. This is the one that counted, right? I mean, what they did week nine at the Jaguars in a 9-6 game as no – I mean, this is the one that's going to hurt. You score, you're up, 13 seconds to go, kicking off, and you give up a field goal, lose the coin toss and lose in overtime. This one was very different and will hurt for a long time. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.